Christopher Nolan is a British and American filmmaker. Known for his Hollywood blockbusters with complex storytelling, Nolan is considered a leading filmmaker of the 21st century. His films have grossed more than $6 billion worldwide, ranking him amongst the highest grossing directors in history. Born, July 30, 1970, age 53 years, Westminster, London, United Kingdom. Spouse, Emma Thomas M., 1997. Awards, Academy Award for Best Picture, more. Nominations, Academy Award for Best Picture, more. Children, Flora Nolan, Magnus Nolan, Oliver Nolan, Rory Nolan. Parents, Brendan Nolan, Christina Nolan. Christopher Nolan net worth $250 million. Christopher Nolan. Early life. Christopher Edward Nolan was born on July 30, 1970, in Westminster, London. His father, Brendan James Nolan, was a British advertising executive of Irish descent who worked as a creative director. His mother, Christina Jensen, was an American flight attendant from Evanston, Illinois. She would later work as a teacher of English. He has an elder brother, Matthew, and a younger brother, Jonathan, also a filmmaker. The three brothers were raised Catholic in Highgate and would spend their summers in Evanston. Nolan holds both UK and US citizenship. An image showing the top of the oculus in the Flaxman Gallery, University College London. Growing up, Nolan was particularly influenced by the work of Ridley Scott and the science fiction films 2001, A Space Odyssey, 1968, and Star Wars, 1977. He would repeatedly watch the latter film and extensively research its making. Nolan began making films at the age of seven, borrowing his father's Super 8 camera and shooting short films with his action figures. These films included a stop-motion animation homage to Star Wars called Space Wars. He cast his brother Jonathan and built sets from a clay, flour, egg boxes and toilet rolls. His uncle, who had worked at NASA building guidance systems for the Apollo rockets, sent him some launch footage. I refilmed them off the screen and cut them in, thinking no one would notice, Nolan later remarked. From the age of 11, he aspired to be a professional filmmaker. Between 1981 and 1983, Nolan enrolled at Barrow Hills, a Catholic prep school in Whitley, Surrey. In his teenage years, Nolan started making films with Adrian and Rocco Bellic. Nolan and Rocco co-directed the surreal 8mm Tarantella, 1989, which was shown on Image Union, an independent film and video showcase on the public broadcasting service. After a fan posted a copy of Tarantella online, in 2021, Nolan's production company filed a copyright infringement claim to have the film removed. Nolan was educated at Hay Labory and Imperial Service College, an independent school in Hertford Heath, Hertfordshire, and later studied English literature at University College London, UCL. Opting out of a traditional film education, he pursued a degree in something unrelated, which his father suggested it gives a different take on things. He chose UCL specifically for its filmmaking facilities, which comprised a Steinbeck editing suite and 16mm film cameras. Nolan was president of the Union's Film Society, and with Emma Thomas, his girlfriend and future wife, he screened feature films in 35mm during the school year and used the money earned to produce 16mm films over the summers. Personal life Christopher Nolan, on the right, is looking directly towards the camera as Emma Thomas is looking to her right. Nolan is married to Emma Thomas, whom he met at University College London when he was 19. She has worked as a producer on all of his films since 1997. The couple have four children and reside in Los Angeles. Nolan prefers to maintain a certain level of mystery about his work. Refusing to discuss his personal life, he feels that too much biographical information about a filmmaker detracts from the experience of his audiences. I actually don't want people to have me in mind at all when they're watching the films. Career After earning his bachelor's degree in English literature in 1993, Nolan worked as a script reader, camera operator and director of corporate films and industrial films. He directed, wrote and edited the short film Larceny, 1996, which was filmed over a weekend in black and white with limited equipment and a small cast and crew. Funded by Nolan and shot with the UCL Union Film Society's equipment, it appeared at the Cambridge Film Festival in 1996 and is considered one of UCL's best shorts. For unknown reasons, the film has since been removed from public view. Nolan filmed a third short, Doodlebug, 1997, about a man seemingly chasing an insect with his shoe, only to discover that it is a miniature of himself. Nolan and Thomas first attempted to make a feature in the mid-1990s with Larry Mahoney, which they scrapped. 
During this period in his career, Nolan had little to no success getting his projects off the ground, facing several rejections. He added, T here's a very limited pool of finance in the UK. To be honest, it's a very clubby kind of place. Never had any support whatsoever from the British film industry. Shortly after abandoning Larry Mahoney, Nolan conceived the idea for his first feature, following, 1998, which he wrote, directed, photographed and edited. The film depicts an unemployed young writer, Jeremy Theobald, who trails strangers through London, hoping they will provide material for his first novel, but is drawn into a criminal underworld when he fails to keep his distance. It was inspired by Nolan's experience of living in London and having his apartment burgled. He observed that the common attribute between larceny and pursuing someone through a crowd was that they both cross social boundaries. Co-produced by Nolan with Thomas and Theobald, it was made on a budget of around £3,000. Most of the cast and crew were friends of Nolan, and shooting took place on weekends over the course of a year. To conserve film stock, each scene was rehearsed extensively to ensure that the first or second take could be used in the final edit. Following won several awards during its festival run and was well received by critics who labeled Nolan a majorly talented debutante. Scott Timberg of New Times LA wrote that it he echoed Hitchcock classics but was leaner and meaner. Janet Maslin of the New York Times was impressed with its spare look and a agile handheld camera work, saying, as a result, the actors convincingly carry off the before, during and after modes that the film eventually and artfully weaves together.